Hello everyone, welcome back to another video and in this video I'm gonna talk about how to fix you're having an issue with you're having an issue with the controllers or the controller or game pad is not working on your PC for the game Monster Hunter Wild and how we can fix this up so let me directly get into the step so the first one we need to run the Steam as an administrator so to run the steam as an administrator right now we're in the steam just go over here at the top right click on this and before the exit right now the steam is completely shutting down so what we need to do is just right click over here and what we need to do is just go over here in the steam we have to launch it once again so which is going to give a fresh start for the steam so now once all the steam is launched there is one more thing that i forgot so just go over here search for the steam and now get on red as an administrator and we have to go for yes so right now it is getting loaded up so that's what you have to do so once it is completely getting loaded up what we need to do is we need to launch this up once again and right now afterwards what we need to do is we just need to go over here so right now i have to go to the game and go to the monster hunter over here and just try and launch the game and i have to check Next one is all about what we need to do is close this and we have to go back and here we need to go over here launch the steam in the big picture mode. So to do this what we need to do is just go over here to the steam and right now we have an option over here at the top you can see there is an end of big picture mode click on this one. So right now the steam will be entering in the big picture mode as you can see. Now what we need to do is we just need to press any buttons over here. We have to press any button. We can press any button over here. Now from here what we need to do is you can see the game over here will be having the most probably the game will be here. So uh, we just need to go over here. We can go to the library. In the library you can see we are having the monster hunter over here will be having install it. Click on the install it. So the monster hunter is here. So now the monster hunter we need to launch the game from here. So some for many users, when they launch the game, it worked for them, so you can try this out. Now, in order to exit the big picture mode, just go over here to the Steam, click on this particular one. That is the power option, I'll click on this one. And we'll be getting an option to exit the big picture mode, click on this one. So right now, it is exit, and we just need to go back to the Steam, and we have to try launch the game, and that's what we have to do. So now, what we need to do is just keep scrolling down and navigate to the Monster Hunter. We have to check whether you are still having the issue while launching the game with the controller or not. So if you're having the trouble, we need to move to the next one. That is, we need to disable or enable the Steam input. So to do this, just go over here, right click, go to the properties, go over here in the controller. Right now, over here you can see it is on default setting. So you have to enable the Steam input and launch the game. If that is not the case, go for disable the Steam input and you have to launch the game. So either you can try for the first enable the Steam input and launch the game. If that is not working, we can disable the Steam input and launch the game. That might be working in most cases. So if you tried both and still if it's not working, you can keep this to default setting. Close this and you can move to the next step. Next step is all about we need to close the game, update the controller using the PlayStation accessory app or using the Xbox accessories app. So if you're using any controller, which means wired controller, what you need to do is just go over here, close the game, close this up. And now we need to go over here. We can directly go to the store. And once you get into the store, if you're in the Xbox, what we need to do is you can just go over here, search for the Xbox accessories over here. We'll be getting this particular app from the Play Store. Over here, we'll be getting this app. And now you need to download the Xbox accessories. And now what we need to do is you just need to download this particular Xbox accessories over here. And I don't have any controller, so I'm not connected this up. So you have to first install this and you have to connect your controller and you need to update the controller. And you can do the same for the PlayStation controller as well. You need to like it is written over here. What we need to do is using the PlayStation accessories app, you need to update your controller and you have to try. Next one is all about you need to enable or disable the Xbox controller or PS controller in the Steam controller setting. So just go over here, go to the game and over here at the top you can see Steam, right click and go to the settings option. Now in the controller what we need to do is you can see enable the Steam input for Xbox controller. So actually if it is right now you can see no controllers detected which means I have not connected any controller. But to the users this might be enabled Steam input for Xbox controller. 
might be either enabled or it is disabled. So if it is disabled, you can enable it and you can check. If it is disabled, you have to enable it. And if it is enabled, you have to disable it and you have to enable it once again and you have to check. For the PlayStation controller, just go over here. Usually this will be enabled in Deem support. So you can try, go for enabled once first and you can try. And still, if it's not there, you can go for not enabled. And you can set it up to the enabled and you can check. Most probably that's going to be case in some cases as well. So last few moving up, you can see there is unplug all the hotas, wheels, pedals, etc. If it is connected, we need to un un unplug all the external devices if it is connected. Just unplug everything. Once everything is successfully unplugged, we just need to try launch it again and you have to check. Make sure it's all about if any controller from the Bluetooth device and pair it is once again, you have to uh, unpair it and you have to connect it back. And the last and the least step is always try using the wired connection, not the wireless. I don't know the, how this is going to have PAs out, but I have seen it in the forum and even in the Steam community, even in the Reddit for many users stated that when they're using the wireless, they have many issues, but they use it the wired, it all fixes it up. So you can try this out as well. So these are the steps and I hope this cake video is helpful. And if you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more these kind of videos. Have a nice day. Bye bye.